forward. That's a lot of information. Everyone okay? <laughs> Good stuff. One of the things we love here at Spring Harvest is creativity. We're really keen that we're creative in our worship, creative in the way that we express our love for God. And before we go back into a time of sung worship, uh, we've got one of our friends, Joe Fisher, who is going to be uh, involved with the big start tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. He's written a new book called Faith, Hope and Nudity. Yes, I did say that correctly. Faith, Hope and Nudity. Uh, that's also available in the set hub if you want to go get a copy. Um, but please do welcome to the stage with doing his spoken word, specially written for Spring Harvest this year, Joe Fisher. I gave my wife a list today. Just some suggestions, fairly plain. I think you'll get the gist of what I mean when I explain that it was full of ways that she could show me just how much she loves and knows me, going and bestowing on me gifts of generosity, with openness and honesty, with passion and velocity, giving me just what I need. But honestly, that's not what I received. <laughs> just total animosity. It doesn't take a genius to guess what happened next. She was perplexed and vexed. My selfishness and needs are met without the keenness to invest in her. It's stressful, yes. I guess it's because I offered nothing to her in return for those demands of dreams and plans that might occur. To that she did infer. A one-way road does not allow a two-way thing when one way's closed. A duo cannot sing alone. There's no way that's happening. No. And yet for some, this might be how we pray. A wish list, you could say, that's left at heaven's door without the thought of what we give back in return. And yet God yearns to give us good things if we open up our hearts and minds. A true relationship combines the talking and the listening. Not just producing lists, expecting gifts, glistening off the juicy bits without the graft. It's daft to not give back. Because after all, we are his. This love, it's not a tit-for-tat thing, but a true love at all costs things. Safe from loss, Jesus' cross has offered intimacy. So talk to God, he's listening, but listen back and see that he has so much that he wants to say. Our prayers can be unlimited, unlimited. No barriers or walls today. His grace allows us access to a God who says, come close and be my friend, let's chat. There is no end to that, no rubbish signals, nothing sending, nuisance calls, now unfriending, no. True connection is here, he's near. No pending slips are necessary, he waits to answer. Let's be ready to open up our hearts and speak while seeking what God has to say. And into heaven, we will peek. It's time to talk right now. Let's pray.